Who else is tired? I know, it's only Tuesday, but I'm sorry, I'm tired. And so today's going to be a short video. But what am I going to talk about? Eh, writing advice. And we'll talk about, we'll give some writing advice. Oh, yeah, that works. Welcome back, Collective of Sanity. I am your humble <laughs> and awesome leader, Tim Green. I write on the pen name T Green. And today, <laughs> we're going to talk writing advice. Yeah, it's going to be a short video. I want to do a little bit of something different. I can give you tons of writing advice from my own experience and all that. But I want to know what the pros say. So I'm going to give you my top 20 not 10, 20 of my favorite quotes from published authors. Yeah, if you stop, just so you can give you a heads up, all the names on here, but one, never heard of. But they have some good things to say. And let's see if you can tell me which one I know down in the comment section. Yeah, it's going to be obvious. All right, so, well, with that case, let's jump right into this. All right, so the first one go is from Jonathan, Jonathan Fraser. No, Jonathan Friesen. Okay, so, he has three. <clears throat> Number one, the reader is a friend, not an adversary or a spectator. Write in, write in third person unless a, a distinctive first person voice offers itself irresistibly. Yeah, it's going to be a fun one to edit. And his third one that I liked is interesting verbs are seldom interesting. The next five are from Neil Gaiman. His first one is put one word after the other. Find the right word and put it down. His second one, number two, remember when someone tells you something's wrong, they are almost certainly always right. When they tell you exactly what's wrong and how to fix it, they're almost definitely wrong. Number three, from Neil Gaiman, laugh at your own jokes. That's not hard for me to do. <laughs> number four is, the main rule of writing is write with enough assurance and confidence and you can do whatever you want. So write... So write your story the way it needs to be written. Write it in, in, and honestly, write it honestly and the best you can. And number five is advice I've given multiple times. Write. That's all. It's very simple. The next two come from Elmore Leonard. Keep your exclamation points under control. You're allowed three for every hundred thousand words. If you have a knack for playing with exclamations like Thomas Wolfe, you can throw them in by the handful. Number two, try to leave out the part that the readers skip. Think of what you skip when reading a novel. Our next author is Margaret Atwood. Her first one is, if you're using a computer, safeguard your work with memories. And number two, this what applies to me so much, do back exercises. Pain is distracting. Our next author is from, comes from Roddy Dole. Give your work a name as soon as possible. Name it, own it. <clears throat> Dickens knew Bleak House was called Bleak House before he started writing it. The rest must be easy. All my title, all my works have titles. If they don't have a title, I don't waste my time working on them until I have a title. Our next one comes from Helen Dunmore. Finish the day writing when you still want to continue. Our next one author is Esther Freud. The first one is Don't wait for inspiration. Discipline is key. And his second one, Trust the reader. You don't need, not everything needs to be explained. If you really know something and breathe life into it, they'll know it too. So the final author is Anne Inright. She has four. Her first one is, her, number one, the first 12 years are the worst. Two, only bad writers think their work is really good. Number three, description is hard. Remember, all description is an opinion about the world. Find a place to stand. And number four in the best 
piece of advice I can give next to write. Have fun. That's all of it. That's everything. Those are the my my 20 favorite pieces of writing, pieces of advice of writing. Here's the thing. Those are their rules, their thoughts, their everything on writing. Figure out the ones you like and ignore the rest. If you hate all of them, well, ignore them. Because only you know what will work for you. But unless you try new things, you're never going to know if there's something be it's a better way for you. I will have all the quotes down below so you can see them specifically and re refer to them. That's all I have. Since you made it to the end of this video, you clearly liked what you were seeing. So go ahead and give me a thumbs up while you're there. Go over and hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. You're going to want that because the month of November, I'm going to have videos for NaNoWriMo coming out randomly. And the only way to know when they go up live is to be part of the collective. So ring the bell again. That's right. I said it. And I also will be having some vlogs going up at some point. I'm going to have a lot of stuff to talk about and in the near future. If you want to learn more about writing, go over to the Zero One podcast group and listen to my podcast, The Writer's Mindscape. It's done with me and my buddy Adam Daly. And we're world building a brand new world. <laughs> I finally caught up somewhat to him in the development. But it's a link down below. You'll see how we go about world building and get some awesome advice about it. In the meantime, if you want to see what I'm up to, go find me on social media. My Instagram, I have photos going up all the time about maps I'm making for a project, my work, writing quotes, stuff galore, old drawings I've done. But it's all I post there every day. All right, best I can, best I can. So go over there. Also, you can find my trip videos for my writing trips across Massachusetts and New York, uh, places that take place in my upcoming novel, Seeing Through the Veil. Go over there and check those out. And other than that, people, I hope you have a great writing week, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye. Who's talking? It's happened last Halloween, too. Halloween's time till for another two weeks.